Where you put your attention is what will manifest in your life. So you're going to shift your attention away from obstacles and shortages. You're going to leave behind longing and doubts. Any crises that you're challenged by. And you're going to breathe deeply. And as you do, I invite you to bring your attention to the physical sensations that come with your next breath. The release of tension, the natural rhythm and flow of energy in and energy out, that is your breathing. And from a place of gratitude for this gift of breath, I want you to place your attention in the space between your eyes, in the infinite void that is all space. And now, bring your awareness to the energy in the space between your eyes, floating in the infinite void of all space. Now, bringing your attention to the space between your temples, suspended in the infinite void of all space. Placing your attention now in the space inside your nostrils in the infinite void. And now bringing your attention to the space between your throat and the back of your head in the infinite void that is all space. Placing your attention now in the space around your ears in the infinite void. And now, can you sense the energy in the space? around your ears in the infinite void.
And now, can you place your attention on the space around your chest in the infinite void of all space? Can you sense the energy in the space around your chest, in the infinite void of all space? And can you feel the energy in the space between your fingers in space? And can you sense the volume of space around your feet in space? And can you sense the energy of space beyond your feet in space? And can you become aware of the volume of space around your thighs in the infinite void? Can you feel the energy in the space between each hair in space? And can you feel the volume of the space around your neck and shoulders in the infinite void of all space? And now, can you rest your attention in the space around your body in the infinite void of all space?
Can you sense the space that all of space takes up in space? And now, it's time to disconnect from what you know, to quiet the circuits in your brain that are connected to the old you, to let go of your concept of time and space, to let go of any image of who you are or where you are. To free yourself from identification with your past and become pure consciousness, an awareness that you are aware. In each moment, you possess the energy to create your future, and where you focus your attention determines what that energy becomes. Your thoughts are energy that create your physical being. Energy that attracts the people and events that are your life. Your thoughts create your future. So right now, you're going to disconnect from your typical thought patterns. You're going to hang out in the experience of no time, no body, no thing, nowhere. And as you disconnect from habitual thought, you become aware of the energy field of infinite divine potential that exists right now, forever and always, in this moment. If you find yourself drifting off into thoughts about today's agenda, or you start to review the past, Lovingly bring your attention back to your next breath. If a voice of doubt appears, just know that it's old energy. It's familiar. It's what you believed was your comfort zone. So from a place of love, disconnect from what you know. Bring your awareness back to your breath and return to the energy field of infinite divine potential. Change manifests when you surrender into this great field of energy. Change happens when you are present, free of the creative drain that is fear. Change happens when you detach from outdated stories about your worthiness, what you're capable of. Change happens when you let go of shoulds and shouldn'ts, and allow yourself to come back to this moment.
into this energy of creation. Just feel this presence. It's not something you can grasp or hold on to. As a small child, you spent most of your life in this field where anything was possible. Nothing has changed. This energy field from which all things are created is timeless. It's all that you are, all that you have been, and all that you will be. So allow yourself to float in the infinite void, in the space between thoughts, in the space of pure consciousness, in the energy of creation, in the divine unknowing. Simply an awareness in possibility.
From this deepest moment of presence, it's time to create your future. Here's how you're going to do that. You're going to consciously recognize what you want to change. Any negative self-sabotaging thought, any self-defeating image, And from this energy field of creation you are in right now, you're going to state your clear intention for what you want instead. You're going to step into a future in which your intention has been realized, using your one-of-a-kind creativity to describe it and give it meaning, and allow yourself to have an emotional experience of being in that future that is so powerful, you'll never forget it. Then you'll surrender it all to a greater intelligence to manifest what is best for you and all concerned. So, what belief or perception about yourself do you want to change? What story about yourself is no longer working? Are you ready to release the thoughts that misdirect your attention and therefore your energy and keep you in a perpetual state of less than? If so, I want you to decide right now to state clearly and powerfully what you want. What belief or perception do you want to change in your life? State it as an intention. My intention is... What are you ready to let go of? You've waited a long time. So I want you to bring on your best attitude of yesness to this intention a level of conviction that is powerful and then step into that future. You've done it. You've made it happen. You've accomplished your goal. Your intention has become reality. And now, describe what it's like. Begin with the words, I am. Get out your full palette of colors and paint a picture of your life. I am. Let the details reveal themselves. Where are you? Who are you with? What are you doing? How are you using your one-of-a-kind talents? How are you expressing your love? What is your inner child saying, doing, asking for? This is reality without limit, and you're living it right now. What sensations are you feeling in your body? On your skin? Cool. 
What are you feeling in your heart? How does it feel to be empowered? How does it feel to be without limit? What is it like when you're inspired? Allow yourself to feel this reality. It's already happening. What is it like? What makes it so wonderful? Surrender into an emotional experience of being in that future that is so powerful, you'll never forget it. Embrace this future now with a level of conviction that will alter the course of your thoughts, your biology, your life. Starting now. You can do this. Your process of change rides on feelings more than words, on imagination rather than facts. It's more heart than head. So feel it. Let your heart take charge. Your heart is the source of your courage and your connection to the divine. Just feel the energy coming from your heart space, moving out into the universe and coming back, bringing with it a sacredness, the self-honoring power to have created what you want. Now, with the emotional conviction that it's already happened, give thanks. Thank you. Your gratitude is energy. Thank you. Energy that sends a signal to your mind and body that the future is now. Thank you. That your intention has already been carried out. Thank you. And now give it all up to a greater intelligence and divine timing, knowing that your body will respond and turn energy into physical matter. Give it all up knowing the universe will respond and fill your life with people and events that reflect back to you your greatness and your love. How does that feel? So what else do you want to believe and perceive about yourself? This time beginning with the words, I want to believe that I am. What does that sound like? Is it, I want to believe that I am enough? Or, I am lovable? Or, I am safe just being myself? What do you want to believe and perceive about yourself?
And as you become present with this new reality, as this new reality becomes present with you, describe what it's like. How is this new belief, this image of yourself, showing up as you go through your day? What is it like now when you meet someone for the first time? How does this new belief and perception of yourself heal you? What is it about you that inspires others? And how does this feel? Who do you attract into your life now that you've stopped pretending? Now that you are free to be yourself? Go ahead, feel what it's like to love yourself. Now, with the emotional conviction that it's already happened, give thanks. Gratitude is energy. Energy that sends a signal to your mind and body that the future has already happened, that your intention has already been carried out. Thank you. And now, give it up to a greater intelligence and divine timing, knowing that your body will respond and turn energy into matter. The universe will respond and populate your life with people and events that reflect back to you your greatness, your love. Where you place your attention determines what manifests in your future. So how does it feel knowing you have dominion over your future? Knowing that you are unlimited. And knowing that coming into alignment with your greatness is simply a matter of choice. You've begun writing the new operating system for your mind and body, your future. By starting with the end in mind and living into what does it look like and how does it feel? Now, place your hand on your heart and breathe. You've come home to the state of perfection you are. To the state of perfection you've always been. How does it feel to be inspired by yourself? To receive this divine breath of life? How does it feel to surrender into the energy of loving and to be loved, to be graced with unmerited favor, to be rewarded for simply being you. Go ahead and feel that. Let your gratitude lift you up as you proclaim to the universe, I have arrived.
No, I want you to bless yourself for the courage you have to invite change. And I want you to bless your past for the wisdom it has given you and the path that has brought you to this moment. I want you to bless your inner child for the sensitivity and the creative spark your little one maintains in you. I want you to bless the soul that is having this human experience called you. And I want you to set the intention to continue your work to evolve into a higher consciousness. And now I invite you to awaken into a new relationship with yourself, into a new relationship with time and space, with all things and all people. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes.